Hello, this is Cityscape, a regular podcast featuring people, places, and ideas that impact Bologna. As we approach the start of a new school year, just about all of us can agree that this fall school experience will be unique, to say the least. The Clarenceville School District plans to open the year on August 31st with online instruction only. Superintendent Paul Shepik leads the school district of about 1,800 students that serves portions of Livonia, Redford, Farmington Hills. The Livonia School District was established in 1837, the same year Michigan became the state. Paul, thank you for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Dan. Paul, what did the Clarenceville School Board and your administration team, why did they proceed with online instruction over the year? Well, I'll tell you, Dan, it, it was a really difficult decision, uh, both the recommendation that I made as well as the board's uh, decision to support that recommendation um, with a 7-0 vote to uh, delay the start of brick and mortar school face-to-face -face instruction uh, for the first semester of the 2021 school year. Um, their, their rationale, their thinking was simply uh, the, the so many unknowns uh, about this whole COVID-19 experience. Um, the fact that our numbers are not going down in this state, in this uh, Southeast region, um, and the fact that safety and, and student well-being uh, always rises to the top in Clarenceville. And we know that it's going to be difficult for students and teachers and parents. Um, but again, the first and foremost thing that we pride ourselves on is trying to keep kids safe and staff safe. So they erred on the side of caution to, to elect to go the first semester um, in a remote fashion, um, offering both a remote as well as a virtual uh, academy setting for the flexibility for parents and kids. Um, and we're about to kick that off in about a little over a week. What has been the school community's reaction uh, to that decision by Clarenceville School Board? Well, as you can imagine, um, it's, it's, it's pretty much mirroring what you see across the country uh, in the state. Uh, you know, 50, I'll just use I don't have the hard hard numbers, but you know, 50. It feels like 50% of the people want to uh, be virtual and be safe, and 50% of the people want to be uh, back in some current kind of face-to-face -face, uh, instruction, getting kids back to school. Um, let it be known that we want kids back in school. Um, that that's where we do our best work. Uh, that's where kids get the most from their experience. Um, you know, school to me is is about. Uh, experiences. It's not about lessons and grades. It's about the experiences we can give kids. And uh, virtually it, it can be done. It just can't be done as well uh, as in face-to-face in -face instruction. So it's not like we want it to be virtual, um, but you know, it, it's a difficult decision when you're thinking about the health and well-being of, of kids. What will it take for the board administration to reopen schools for in-person instruction? Well, we're, we're taking, I, I meet weekly with the Oakland County Health Department. We belong to Oakland County School Systems. Um, and so we have a weekly meeting with their, with their team uh, and they give us the prior two week numbers, uh, positivity rates, things like that. Um, then I'll report that to my board. Um, basically what we're looking at is, is a reevaluation, while well, now by law, <laughs> uh, as, as it passes today, it'll be every 30 days. We have to look at our plan and make any kind of adjustments uh, that we think is in the best interest of our students. So um, even though we say we're out for the first semester, uh, that 30 day, the new law with a 30 day board meeting that we have to address the plan, which would be our, our current plan of being remote and virtual, um, will be looked at. If we go to phase five, if we can get to phase five, and let's all hope that we can very soon, um, then we would definitely uh, inst implement our hybrid schedule where students would start coming back to school two days a week um, in alternating fashion with half the kids in the, in the buildings uh, on Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. Uh, that way we can continue to do all of the safety precautions, especially the recommended six feet of social distancing. Um, so, you know, school is going to be very different even when we come back. Uh, it's, it's not going to be the traditional school where uh, kids get together in groups and high five and you know hang out together. Uh, it's going to be very different experience with masks and, and clear shields and those kinds of things uh, and, and the six foot of spacing with small class sizes. 
Um, but, but it's the right thing to do uh, as we get into phase five. That's what we hope to do. Uh, and in the next 30 days, in the next 30 days, as we keep reevaluating, the goal would be to get back to full face-to-face -face instruction with all kids in, back in the building, but only when it's safe. Um, so it is conceivable that through the course, of, even though the plan right now is to be uh, virtual for the first semester, that could change if you go into phase five and the data and the experts tell you it would be safe to uh, reopen. That could still happen first semester. Yes, that, that is, has always been. We wanted to give a, a time frame to our parents for planning purposes so that they could plan forward with some sense of uh, consistency. Um, but we've always, the board always had said that, you know, as we go through this, even before this new bill passed, uh, that we would be reevaluating at the end of, you know, nine weeks and, and to see where we were at, where the virus was at, um, and what the experts are telling us uh, we might be able to do, and if the governor moved us to phase five. So that was always part of the plan, um, but we did give a hard date of the end of the first semester um, because it's easier for parents to be able to plan around school um, in this setting so it's not intermittent you're in school two weeks and then you're out two weeks and so on and so forth so we tried to provide that by giving a hard date so paul i know you're busy with all the challenges you're facing the start of the school year i appreciate you taking some time to talk to us and good luck with the new school year thank you so much dan uh, it's always a pleasure and uh, appreciate you doing this all right Get the word out i said godspeed to you and your staff there and uh, we thank everyone uh, for watching this edition of Cityscape. And I'm Dan West, Livonia Chamber of Commerce. We'll see you next time.